Hi, this is Billy Amendola from Modern Drama Magazine, and you're watching Yamaha Groove All-Star Clips. Take one. I'm Rick Morata. The, the whole idea of the show was um, when going back to the original concept of the show. Well, when Yamaha approached me about doing a show, it was drummers, 10 drummers, playing solos. And uh, I literally said to them, not only would I not MC that show, perform in that show, I wouldn't go to that show. And they rolled their eyes, which they are take them to do whenever I talk, <laughs> and they said, what do you want to do? And just off the top of my head, I had been playing with a band here in L.A. called the Bristols. <clears throat> I said, why don't we bring the guys up? We go in. You bring in these 10 drummers, 12 drummers, whatever you want, and we let them play a song that we already know. No solos. So it's, they play grooves. That's what this is all about. And they came back to me a little while later and said, you know what, we idea, let's give it a try. And so we did it. First one we did was at SIR in Los Angeles for a few hundred people and it, got, it, was, it just was so packed and such a success, we moved it um, the next year to the um, Galaxy, Galaxy Theater, Theater in Anaheim and then we outgrew the Galaxy and now we're at Cerritos. Joe Testa and I have worked very hard on this through the years and you know I can't talk enough about how much work he puts into this thing. It's just, great. he's unbelievable. I couldn't. So you couldn't even think about doing it without him. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, he's the one who kind of keeps it all going. <clears throat> really, it's all on his shoulders. And, and it's great that, that, that they like it, you know. And we do it, everybody knows it's to entertain. I mean, it's right. really interesting. We get a lot of guys here and a lot of egos go out the window. The band is great. We've added a horn section. Ralph McDonald comes in and plays percussion. <clears throat> Will Lee's been here every year. This is the first year he hasn't been here because he had to go um, on the and do a gig with um, Fab Foe. And, but Will called me last week just how sorry he was he wasn't going to be able to make it. And it's become a real, it's become a real um, enjoyable challenge. Hey, I'm Tessa Fair, and I'm one of the singers for the Yama, Yamaha Groove All-Star Band. And uh, I, so I get to sing with all these amazing drummers that Yamaha endorses. And... Um, Gosh, the band is just killer. I mean, the best. Um, Dave Spinoza plays guitar, and he is, well, the guy is just he's a great guitar player, but above, above that, he's a great guy. So I feel like I really I get to just, you know, sing with all my friends, and um, or they become my friends over the last few years. And then on top of that, of course, um, the drummers and there's there's one guy that I just like we were all rehearsing yesterday with this guy and I know you guys all know who he is Michael Bland and uh, he's playing a Led Zeppelin tune uh, what's do you know the name of the this ocean. tune the ocean yes and um, <clears throat> me and the other two singers we were just enamored by the way this guy plays he has just so much life and the way that he touches a cymbal or a snare or whatever it's just magic and we were singing, and, and at a couple of points during the, the tune, we just we lost where we were because we were watching him the whole time. It was <laughs> so great. And then uh, Tommy Aldridge, that guy kills me every time we, we, we do this thing. I mean, he's, he steals the show every time. And um, I'm kind of excited, too, to hear Keith Carlock this year. He's going to do a Who tune, so I think that's going to definitely steal the show as well. So... Anyhow, I'm, I can't wait until Saturday night. I'm a little tired just because we've been rehearsing since Monday from morning to night, but it's worth it because it, it's just a great show. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys can come out and see it. It's, it's, I know it's kind of a hard show to get, in, to get into because everybody wants to see it because of all the hot shit drummers. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, I'm, I'm, I just feel privileged to be a part of all of it. So anyhow, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Russ Kunkel, and uh, we're here at the Yamaha Groove Night at NAMM, and the song that I chose to play tonight is uh, How Sweet It Is, played on the original version with James Taylor, and I'm um, looking forward to playing it tonight, being around all these, these guys. You know, what, what, what Yamaha has been able to do for a community of, of players, of drummers, they have been so consistent with all of us. Do they ask us for our, our input? Yes, they do. And we give it freely. It's like, it, 
and, and it's constant. Mm. You know, but do, what do they give back? They are there 24 7. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's not about drums or parts or anything. How about, how's your family doing? You know, if somebody's sick in your family, what can we do? I mean, they're there across the board. It's, it's much more than business, you know, with this group of people. And every year when we get together and get to do this, it's just, it's a huge love fest. You know, just to be able to get together and just play music together. 